all my messy friends. It is so good to see you again. How are you all? Um, today we are checking in on a February planty update to see what's been going on with um, all of the plants that we've been um, messing with together and see if there's any cool new action as spring starts to arrive. Uh, let's just jump into it. We're starting off in the planty office um, to check in on the plants that we hung up. So let's take a look at each one. And we're still just vibing with these temporary plants hanging on the wall. Um, I found my other crocodile fern. This was my original one. It has been a bit of a struggle, but um, I found both of these. I hung them up there for now. Um, something interesting that's been going on with the ficus. I noticed it last night. We'll see if I can find any examples. All right, here's an example. We'll see if we can get the camera to pick it up. If you can see on this petiole, there's like a waxy um, residue and it's appearing on many of the petioles. Um, right, that's a good shot right there. Uh, at first I was nervous because I thought it could be mealy bugs. You know, we fought mealies on the um, Hoya polynera. We'll check on that in a second too. Uh, but it turns out to just be latex deposits. And the purpose of this um, plant secreting latex is um, to back into um, some wasps in the animal kingdom to help it pollinate the little figs that it will plan to grow this spring and summer. Um, so that was a kind of interesting fact. It might be old news to a lot of people, but I was interested to learn about that little detail of how figs fig trees, ficus trees, um, interact with those symbiotic relationships. Um, okay, so yes, the Peru, I set it back right here where it belongs. Um, there's just a piece of paper under it to keep the springtails that live in the soil of this ficus from getting so easily into the Peru. Um, okay, next. All right, now let's take a look at the ones that we hung over in front of the window. And I'll try and work with the, the poor lighting that we've got going on in here, um, but we'll see what we can do. We'll start with the Hoya Linearis because this one was my favorite. Um, it's doing okay. It has been doing a little bit better since its new home in the window. It has a little bit of growth coming out the top of the pot. Uh, a teeny tiny little baby sprig. Uh, but other than that, it's just adapting. I'm still really excited about it. Even though it's struggling, it remains one of my favorite types of plants. Um, we also hung up this Hoya Wayetii. It's doing great kicking ass, no complaints, just happy to be vibing. Okay, let's see what else we've um, worked on together. Oh, before we move on, look at this Rapidophora tetrasperma. It's bumping into the ceiling. Oh, that's gonna need to get cut again. Always cutting this plant. Can't root the cuttings though, I don't know why. This is the philodendron micans that we repotted at the beginning of the month. Just growing, loving life. Nice and long. I trimmed it a little bit because it was bumping into this um, um, snake plant here. What else is new? Oh, her sister, the um, climbing micans is really um, filling in and you can see that it has one of the longest branches has finally reached the tip tip top of this plank so I'm going to have to cut that down and I think that'll also give me everything I need to um, gather up the old footage of the whole process of this plant and stitch it together into a quick little 
gosh, like one year time lapse or one year like process video. Um, here's the Clara Nervium, brand new to my collection. My February houseplant edition, looking so good. Thank you, beautiful, say hello. Um, oh, and we also did the goldfish plant too. We repotted this one together. It's looking beautiful. I've still never received flowers from this plant, but that's okay, I love it for its foliage. Humidifier, clean, but now it's empty. <laughs> what else I don't think that we have had any chance to mess around with any of the plants that live over here this um, kangaroo pot fern is really happy with the humidifier um, I still plan to reorganize and put the white humidifier down here um, and try and just shuffle around this area as it continues to fill in with more and more plants. Um, but all, of course, that's an always ongoing process. Let's see, what else did we um, look at together? Oh, that's right. Um, this string of hearts propagation, um, it is ready to get potted. I'm thinking about keeping it in a semi-hydroponic or, you know, like water-based planting because right here, what we have is just water propagated water and perlite um so i think i'm going to stick with that the mother plant is here um it's looking really good but i know that pot is too small oh and this is interesting this is kind of an exciting update um this silver oh my gosh i forget the proper name but it's like leopard lily um it's getting these little flower clusters it did not get any flower clusters last year. Of course, succulents are always pretty good at um, growing these tiny little types of flowers. It's pretty dark in here, so it's hard to pick up on it, but it's really creamy with a little bit of purple. Really pretty. Um, so that's kind of a fun update. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Next, um, I think we'll check in on the Hoya polymera that we treated together. Um, remember we did um, rubbing alcohol and all of that from the mealybugs that it had. Um, so if you didn't watch that, it's a kind of long video, I'll admit, because it was going to start out just being like a calming, chill watering video but then it turned into being kind of like a pest treatment video. So uh, you're welcome to view it if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, but let's go check on her and you'll see living proof that the treatment turned out fine and didn't cause any um, damage on the plant. Okay, first of all, there they are. And then we'll take a close up look at them. Um, first I'll call out to just these two leaves right here. Um, these two that are hanging here pure works of art. I love how dark they are. They're truly perfect. Uh, let me get up on the tub and we can take a look. Um, no more mealy bugs. Let's check. I check it every day, literally. Um, there's a little bit of like white, I don't know, I might say scarring. But none of it is actually, none of it is mealybugs. And remember that wasn't um, pest damage, that was shipping damage. It's a little thirsty. And let's look at this one. There is some damage here. Um, it wasn't from the rubbing alcohol treatment. It was sun damage. When this plant first arrived, I had it in a sunnier spot and I got these sunburns, um, but that's not from the alcohol itself. I'm sure um, having some mealybugs and having rubbing alcohol doesn't help. And I do expect those leaves to, um, to fall off soon enough. Um, what's this? There's like a powdery residue on it. Maybe I'll just give it a shower, um, shower it off. Oh, those are my two favorite leaves. 
So dusty. How did you get so dirty just hanging out up here? Damn. All right. What else? Oh, on the other side of the bathroom. Um, we gave this plant a wash uh, just a week ago. It's happy. My favorite. It's my shower curtain. <laughs> um, if you saw the video where we did, I think it was the dirty work, a lot of lame household cleaning. We just also cleaned the plant along with the same time we were cleaning the shower using um, vinegar, dish soap, a couple drops of rubbing alcohol. Anyways, really happy. Really happy living life. Let's see what else. Um, this is a plant. I don't think we've uh, looked at it together on this channel, um, but it's a Calathea mosaica and it is shooting up. Look at that. Look at all those shoots. Very exciting. This is one of my husband's plants. Um, he likes these Calatheas. I am very uncomfortable with Calathea, but it has been happy in this very, very low light bathroom. I'm excited to see when those turn into leaves. Little tucky toes will unfurl. Okay, I think that's basically it for plants in the bathroom. Um, next we'll go downstairs and those have some cool updates. Um, I'm just really excited about uh, what's been grow growing on, what's been going on down there. Um, so let's head down there and take a look at the rest. We should stop here for a moment and appreciate this beautiful peace lily bloom. We washed this peace lily. Um, we gave it a nice shower. Um, it's been happy since then, chilling, chilling in the window. Doesn't mind at all, all the cloudy, gloomy days. This was the sister plant, um, I guess daughter. It came from the same plant but I um, propagated it by division. It has two blooms. Focus, focus. I love the blooms on a piece lily. They're little spiky things. Um, just happy, living life. Alocasia Bambino. Who else have you met already? Oh, we've already met this. Anthurium, Zisu, no flowers. And oh, Dracaena Lemon Lime that we potted two pottings together during cozy repot. Sorry, it's very dark, but they are doing good, happy. All right, let's go down the stairs. Okay, so very exciting update. Um, this lamp, normal lamp, not grow light, just a lamp, um, has had a humongous impact on the plants living in this table. Um, this Peperomia, I'm, Excuse me, madam, do you mind? Do you mind? Is it okay if we take a video? Is it okay? Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, this peperomia has regained its um, variegation. Like it had lost a lot of its variegation, you can see. And then not only did it regain variegation in the larger leaves, it has also begun growing again. Um, so we have had one, two, three, four, um, I think all of those leaves are new. This one could also be a new one right here. It could be five. And not only do we have five new leaves in the past month and a half, but there's also, I mean, there's a teeny tiny baby leaf and another one is ready to go again. Um, very exciting. And the same thing with this Croton Superstar, I think. Um, it has not grown. Well, I rotted the roots completely, so I've completely rerooted this poor freaking plant. This is one of my first plants, but it has grown all three of these. One, two, three. Is this one new to four? It has grown four leaves in the past month and a half. Um, really amazing. Um, I'm just so happy. And these little guys are doing good. Just nothing new. They, I mean, they're growing more, but they're just doing their own thing. They were never too unhappy about the, the low lighting. And one of the most exciting um, updates on this little planty corner is this lithops. You guys, the lithops are opening. I love when they open. 
Um, if you have a lip ops, you also know like you spend all year waiting for this moment. Um, and we can peek inside and see the little babies. This is the most important time not to water them. Um, do not water your lip ops when it is hatching. Uh, it will kill it. It's using all the moisture from the previous um, you know, plant matter. So if you give more moisture to the roots, it will be overwatered and it will die. So just a hot tip. Um, let's see, any more updates for the plant table in the kitchen? No, and how funny, uh, we immediately lost our lighting um, from sunny to cloudy, just like that. Okay, what else? This is what I was talking about before, um, how I just cannot root these um, uh, Rapidophora tetraspermas. Like this has been in water for uh, all winter. We'll see, um, I'll put those new ones, the new cuttings I have to take, I'll put those in to water and see what happens. All right, our very last updates are gonna come from this little corner over here. And we'll take a peek in at the plants that we um, have repotted and um, bathed and cleaned up and done little wacky things too. Um, so far this year um, and we will just check on them and then I think that's it. Okay, the first update is the cast iron Aspidistra Milky Way. Um, I think it might be getting too much light. It does have new growth, which is positive. Like this is a new leaf unfurling and it unfurled another, let's see. It unfurled another one. I'm not, I can't remember now which one it was. Um, but my other one got not enough light. I think I might be giving this one too much light. Um, so new growth, but it's pale. Look how pale it is. It's probably fine. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, tips and advice, always welcome. And then we have the Philodendron Moonlight. We were gonna repot it and then we discovered that the roots were rotten. Um, so we cut it up. The larger piece is rooting just fine. Come on, just fine. The smaller piece is beginning to root. <laughs> there's like a branch floating under the water in there. Um, there's three. Where's, this one is the medium one. And is it rooting? I have to look with my eyes first and then with my camera. Uh, no, no roots on that one. So two of them are rooting. Uh, that little baby one that's just floating around there, I don't really expect anything of it. But something I was thinking might be fun is if I take this um, philodendron emerald and this philodendron moonlight and maybe pop them like side by side up the same stake together, um, that might be fun. Okay. All right, I think that's it. That's it for our updates from things that we worked on together, but I cannot um, help but also point out the new growth on this um, philodendron in Brazil. I am in love with the way the stems come out pink and the leaves are orangey. It's not showing too well in the camera, but if you have one of these, you know how absolutely precious um, the new growth looks when these come out. All right. All right, my friends, thank you so much for checking in on the February houseplant updates. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any um, updates of your own, if you're excited about new growth. Maybe we have some of these plants in common and yours are also starting to grow. Maybe you have some um, tips, tricks, and advice that works for your growing conditions that might help me and mine. Um, otherwise, please like this video if you enjoyed watching and subscribe to this channel if you would like to see planty videos every Friday, in addition to other random lifestyle content throughout the rest of the week. Um, I'm still experimenting and trying to figure out what, um, what kind of channel content I enjoy creating, what kind of content you all enjoy watching. So as always, um, feedback, comments, and all of that is always appreciated. Um, and with that being said, I will let you guys get on with the rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching to the end. I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye.